Hey everyone, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be doing a beer review of Sierra Nevada's Trip in the Woods Barrel Aged with Currants. Uh, it's a pretty big beer, so I brought my brother Steve here to help me along with it. This is their uh, Narwhal, which they you normally make um, a... I think just a normal stout that yeah. they make, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is their special stout aged in bourbon barrels with red and black currants added. Yeah. Now this beer does clock in at a 8.9% uh, ABV, 62 IBUs. Uh, untapped does give it an average rating of a 3.86. But you've had this cellared for a couple of years right I've had it's this, out of production it's out of production I've had this cellar for about two years now and when you taste a bit of that red currant in the aroma and yeah you do have some berry smell in yeah. there you can smell a little tartness <laughs> yeah it, it definitely has that bourbon barrel not as strong as I was thinking but not as thick as I thought it would be now you can taste that bourbon barrel flavor mm -hmm. in it kind of has this sour note to yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's coming from the, from the black, the black currants. Yeah. I, I would be curious of how well this beer tasted fresh. Yeah. Versus age. I don't know if the freshness would have given it more of a barrel age where the berries have been sitting in too long, yeah. uh, giving it more of this sour note that we're getting right now. If there was a little more bourbon flavor to this, I think it would help it tremendously. Probably, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I get a, a bit more of a, the, it talks about coconut in the description. I get a bit more coconut in the aroma, but I, I do smell coconut too, actually. But that's no, typical that's of bourbon barrel. A bourbon barrel, 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 barrel It's very, it seems to be a lot drier than I actually thought. Mm -hmm. and, and just like I thought, I think the tartness is becoming a little more prominent because it's warming up. I can, see, anyway. I can see the tartness, like right at the initial front taste in your tongue. It is, it is more of a tart flavor. The bourbonness actually, I think, is, is a lot less. Yeah, it's kind of reduced. It's, it's, the sourness has become more prominent, yeah. and the bourbon barrel aged is, is kind of going down. Sour notes do seem to be popping up a bit more. Uh, some people, Definitely. Some people could describe those as fruitier notes. Uh, it is a bit more of a sour note. Yeah, it's not a sweet fruit. It's definitely a tart yeah. fruit. Or a bourbon barrel, you usually get caramely sweet vanilla notes to it, yeah. where this the sourness is becoming more prominent over it that. Is, it's, yeah, it's making the aroma. It, yeah, it's making it kind of less enjoyable uh, for me in that, in that regard. Uh, not, not necessarily my type of beer. I, I personally would take a pass on this if I was offered. And we were looking uh, up on Untapped. They do have more trip to in the woods, which is Sierra Nevada's uh, uh, series of uh, yeah series of beers that they do with bourbon barrel. And they also have a narwhal version that is uh, cocoa nibs and coconut, That's, which sounds it. like something I would be yeah I, I would be in more interested one. in trying that one. Um, all right, thank you for joining us at Hops and Brews today. Uh, hey, if you like this video, give us a like, hit subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow me, I got Instagram, I got Twitter, I got Facebook. And if you want to see even more beers, I got even untapped. Uh, all of them are Hops and Brews. Check me out. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Are we back on? Yeah, we're back. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no.